Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use loop. You must have used the loop in uh, your Java coding and all. Here we will see how to use the loop in Selenium. See, when we use loop is when we need to perform same action again and again. Like this, suppose you are booking some ticket and you want to book the ticket for four adults. So what you will do? You will open this passenger drop down and then you will select this already one is by default and if you want to book the ticket for four uh, people you will click here for three times one was already selected and you perform the same action three times and it become four adults right so what you did you perform same action again and again so uh, generally how will you code you will code you will write this action four times right but that's not a good practice i will show you first we will open this website in our code so for that we will use driver.get url that will open this website and then to open this drop down we need to click here right so we will inspect and we'll see right here so here if you see the only thing i can see is data test id this is looks like unique so we'll see we will copy pasting don't try to type it will really uh, screw up the things because typing we might do some mistake we might miss some spaces we might do other things so better not to do that always always copy paste it you have seen it went for so we'll check it here we'll take it the x path And our property was data test ID, right? So we'll take it data. Better to uh, copy paste the I uh, property also in case you are taking something different. But as I remember, so I'm taking this. But I would prefer you guys to always take it. See, it is highlighting. So we'll use this to click on the drop down menu so we'll write driver dot find element by dot we have taken x path so x path double quotes and then we'll write this and now dot click so what will what this will do it will open the drop down now what we need is we need to select this right this plus perform action on this plus sign right so see we inspect this element and again we do, we got this test id only unique right so we'll copy paste here anyways property is same only value is changing so we take this see it is highlighting so we'll take this x path and then same thing driver dot find element by dot x path double course and we'll give that dot click 
right now we want to click three times because we want to book the ticket for four people right so one is by default selected now we have to perform the same action three times right so we have copy pasted the same thing three times let me see whether this is solving our purpose or not we have run the test case it is invoking the browser see chrome driver was started successfully now it opened the browser let's see what it is doing it is trying to fetch the url it is loading now loading is taking little lot more time now it should open the drop down see it opened the drop down and it's clicked four times if you see here four is selected our test case is working as a tester our work is done but here the problem is we may be thinking our work is done but this code will not be acceptable this is a very pathetic practice and while coding we have to follow some coding standards across the industry otherwise our code will be scrapped it will not be acceptable at all even though it is working fine functionally it is correct it will do the work whatever it is supposed to do but it still this code will be a worrisome it will not be accepted because we are same line we are using again and again so instead of this to make it as per the coding standard better to use loop there are two kinds of loop you can use while loop as well and you can use for loop also both are same both will do the same functionality wise it is same but in uh, usability purpose for loop is better because in one step only we are doing everything initialization increment and condition while in while loop you have to do the things in different places so you might forget also so i will tell you for for loop see this is the for loop format for it's a simple english let's take any integer we can initialize it here also and we can initialize it before the line also better to initialize it here why to write two three more lines not required at all so integer i equals to 0 we have initialized this from 0 then single quotes and then i equals to 0 now we have to put the condition we want to run it suppose five times the same line so here one catch condition is if i is less than 5 semicolon i plus plus and then whatever you want to write whatever you want to loop perform the same action you can put it in the curly braces see here is the problem i will tell you it's not a problem it's you have to just little careful see you want to perform the action five times right so here if you start i equals to zero till i is less than five it means it will run for zero one two three and four that makes that makes it five because we are counting from zero but in case if you initialize it from 1 i equals to 1 and i is less than 5 so this loop will start from from 1 and it will run till the time i is lesser than 5 so it will run for first time when i is equal to 1 then i is equal to 2 it will run i equals to 3 it will run and then 
i equals to 4 it will run right so total only four times it will run then our purpose will not be solved this is the only thing we have to be little careful if we are initializing i from 0 then what we have to do is the number of times we want to run it we can give the condition i is lesser than 5 but in case if we start it initialize it from 1 then we have to give one bigger number i is less than 6 then it will run 5 times right got it 0 to 5 means it will run for 6 times 0 to 6 means it will run for 7 times got it so in case whenever you start from 0 so desired number you have to take one less like i lesser than 5 but if you are running from 1 so you have to run the loop till one bigger number got it so now here see this was the correct this was the action we want it to perform more than once right so suppose see here now look at here we are initializing from 1 and running lesser than 6 so it will run for 5 right till the time i equals to 5 it will run the moment it becomes 6 it will come out from the loop so it will run for 5 times so it means we are booking the ticket for 6 people because 1 is by default selected right so if we press it 5 times that for whatever script we have written according to this script it should run for 5 times right so 1 2 3 4 5 so it means total we are running for 6 people we are booking ticket for 6 people got it see here i hope this concept is clear for everyone here be very very careful if you are initializing the i from 0 then you have to perform the number of times is lesser than the number you want see i will tell you once more see if you are initializing uh, initializing with 0 and you want to run the same action five times then you have to make it i is less than five right then only it will run for five times zero one two three four total five times right and in case you are making it one then you have to make the condition like i is lesser than six then it will run one two three four five five times correct so better to take it it's up to you you can initialize it from two also accordingly you have to change the condition that's it okay now if we run the code that should perform the same thing and code also will pass code review also will be passed because only just write the code making it work it's not like we are done with the work. Following the good coding practice also is a very, very important part of writing scripts. Otherwise, no use of writing scripts. Code will not be acceptable anywhere. Let's see. This is initialized. It is opening the URL. URL is taking a long. loading 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 still loading see it's loaded still loading actually and now it should open the drop down and now see two three four five six see only till six 
it is working because we have given the condition lesser than 5 and we have initialized is from 0 now I will show you with 1 also and this should be 6 again it, it will do the same thing so this is the only part you should little be careful while uh, taking the uh, initializing and uh, taking the account otherwise it's very easy see it is initializing now it will open the browser browser is opening browser is taking time website is taking time to get load it's loading see now it will open the drop down and it should select six passenger because one is by default selected and five times it will perform the same action five six that's it see our code is working thank you guys for watching my video